All right, so when I'm thinking about planning for success criteria, I'm going to start with the task that I'm going to use to assess mastery. So for me in this math class, I'm going to use my exit ticket question. So what is the thing that I'm going to look at to know that my students met my objective? So in this case, um, this was the exit ticket that we were using is given the explicit formula, write an exponential function, write as an exponential function, and we're given this explicit geometric sequence. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about how would I, the expert, complete this task? So this is literally me creating a answer key um, or that exemplar, that perfect piece of work. So I'm just gonna work through this process. So g sub n equals negative 4 times 6 to the n minus 1. So when I think about this process, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out my initial or my first term and the common ratio. So when I look at this, I know that negative 4 is my first term and that 6 is my common ratio. So my next step is I'm actually going to divide those. So I'm going to do negative 4 divided by 6. This is going to be my A. So that's going to be negative 2 over 3. And I know that my B is my common ratio, which is 6. So when I put it together, I'm going to say f of x equals negative 2 thirds times 6 to the x. So there is my answer. So my next step is once I've completed the task, I'm going to look for the characteristics of my work that are essential to a complete answer or a complete task. So really in math, it ends up being those steps, that process that we went through. Um, so specifically here, I'm going to think about all the things I had to do as I worked through this. So the first thing I had to do was I had to identify my first term and common ratio. That was the first thing I did. Um, and then I divided and simplified. So I divided first term by the common ratio. All right, and then I had to um, Put it together. So yeah, so I wrote it in A times B to the X form. And I also want to make sure that my students know that they have to include the F of X part. Um, so I also replaced that G sub N with F of X. So those are just the things that I did. Um, I also reduced over here. So now I'm going to create my finalized success criteria. So I'm going to put it all together. This was my brainstorm of characteristics of my work. And I'm just going to make sure it's clarified that the correct vocabulary is in there and that it's clear for students. Um, so this might look at like a rubric or a checklist. For this case, a rubric's not appropriate. So we're going to make a checklist. So I like the first one. Identify the first term in the common ratio. I did clarify it a little bit and I labeled the common ratio as B. So I'm gonna leave that one. Um, my second success criteria is I'm gonna say divide the first term by the common ratio, but I'm gonna add in get the initial value, A. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as writing it in that A times B to the X form. And then lastly, I'm going to add in um, that I verified that I used function notation. And so that is my list of success criteria, and I'm going to include that when I'm analyzing my student work um, to make sure that they have a complete answer.